everybody, it's Amanda, and today is November, today's the 2nd that you're gonna be watching this, and I am going to be trying to do like a low spend, as much as possible, a no spend November. I have some things that I really wanna save for, and I wanna like buckle down and spend as little as possible. So I am on a mission this month, and I don't know about you guys, if you're like getting ready for holidays or any other things, maybe you wanna follow along with me. So if you've ever done a low spend month with me, you know that the very, very first thing I do at the beginning of the month is I do an inventory. So that is my job today. I'm doing an inventory on every single thing that I have in my house, and I actually, my house is packed right at the moment, which is why I feel confident in doing a low spat slash no spend month. So I'm gonna take you into my big freezer and talk to you about what I have in there, talk to you about what I have in my fridge, in my cabinets, and talk to you a little bit about my plans for the month. So let's go look at my big freezer and we'll see what we got. Okay, so I'm in my laundry room, which, have you guys seen my laundry room remodel? I don't know if you've seen it, um, but everything still looks really good. And I just, I'm like, I'm looking at it at the camera, <laughs> but anyway, um, I have done my freezer inventory and I have so much, more than I even thought that I had. Now this actually includes everything that's in this big freezer and in my small freezer, um, because I did have some things that were kind of mixed up between the two and I tried to make sure that it was organized. So what I ended up doing was trying to put all my vegan meats in the small freezer and this one has my actual meats and then I do have a mix of the veg in both of them, but I tried to have the things that I use regularly in the small freezer and the things that we use less often in the big freezer. So let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is my big freezer and you can see that it is packed like up to the top. That's the second shelf third shelf, fourth shelf. The bottom one is kind of empty. I do have freezer bags in there to make sure everything is stuffed to the gills so we use less power keeping it cold. And of course the doors, I have stuff on the door. So most of this right here is frozen fruit, veg. I have bags of fish and things here. And down at the bottom I have a couple of zucchini that I baked not too long ago and some more ice just to keep it full. Um, but up here at the top, I mostly have chicken. Now I have some butcher box chicken. I have some of the chicken that I got on that really great sale that I saw the other day. I'll link to the top if you haven't seen it. I have some steaks. I have the cinnamon swirl bread that I have frozen for um, Christmas or Thanksgiving, something like that. I haven't decided which one yet. And then I have more chicken. I have mostly beef stuff back here. I do have a whole turkey. Um, I have one that's ordered that's coming in. I'll show you that when it comes in. But this one I still have and I will probably be using this one this month and saving the other one for maybe December. I also have lots of frozen butter and cheese, more chicken, more bread, and more chicken, more bread, <laughs> things like that down there. So um, let, me, let me shut this down now that you've seen it. Let me tell you about how much I have. All right, before I talk to you about how much I have, I do wanna show you my small freezer. Now, like I said, this one has the vegan meats in it. And uh, this is Brian's lunches, so it's not counted. But these are like sliced veggies and things that we use pretty regularly. I do have my one bag of broth. I need to make more. In fact, all of this is stuff to make broth, so I am definitely doing that this month. And this is just some little random things that I have floating around. So let me tell you what we have. Okay, so I put the main meat things on the board just so you can get an idea of the meat we have in the house because I really feel like that's the kind of thing people worry about when they do a low or no spend month. So I have one whole turkey already. That's actually been in my freezer for a while. I've been holding on to it. And I actually, like I said, I ordered a turkey, so I'm definitely gonna have to use one so I have space in it, because you saw my freezer is crammed. So one turkey is about 15 pounds, something like that. Um, I have four bags of fish, it's about six pounds. I have 18 packs of breast meat, either split breasts or boneless breast in the freezer, and that is about 50 pounds. Two thighs packages for about six pounds. One pack of drumsticks, it's about three pounds. I think it's a little more, but I'm, I'm estimating. Two whole chickens, about seven pounds. Three packs of leg quarters, they're about 25 pounds because two of those packs are 10 pound bags. So that's about 97 pounds just in chicken. Okay, so we're solid there. But then we have eight packs of ground beef that are in two pound packs. So that's 16 pounds of ground beef. 
two large roasts, which are at least six pounds. So I have a pound of lamb. I have two packs of bison. I have two packs of smoked sausage. I have one pack of bacon, two packs of Italian turkey sausage, and seven pounds of ground turkey. That's a total of about 36 additional pounds. So if you add all of this up, we're looking at about 150 pounds of meat just in that freezer because if you actually add up in this freezer i have at least three or four bags of chicken that's already pre-cooked that's just ready to add in like a casserole or fried rice or something and then in addition to that i have the vegan meats in there which would be a perfectly fine protein so i have a solid amount of protein in this house that we do not have to worry about at all we are totally solid on that well, in addition to that, let me show you what's in my fridge and my cabinets. Well, right here on my counter, we do have some bananas and some bread and some avocados and some gingers underneath there that I actually am going to make into ginger candy. And my fridge does not have a light, y'all. I, I know I need to replace this fridge, but I actually cleaned it, not for you, but I just cleaned it this week, so it's actually great. Oh, and I also have a big thing of ham right here, too, that's not included in the poundage of meat that I just talked about. Um, and I have some leftovers in here, like I have a big thing of leftover chili and green beans and stuff. But I actually, I got a huge veg haul last week. And I still have plenty of veg in here to use. So this should definitely last me through this week and probably into next week. In fact, a lot of it I plan to freeze, including some of that avocado, by the way. And definitely some of the celery. So, um, and the peppers as well. So a lot of this is, is going to keep beyond this week. But I am going to need to buy fresh veg at least once during this month. So we'll see how that goes. I think I'm going to freeze these cranberries. So I won't have to rebuy those. I haven't decided if I'm going to use them or refreeze them. Um, but I do have some packs of heavy cream. And um, back here I have all the condiments. I do need, I'm going to need some ketchup for sure. Um, that's running low. But I have like several things of mustard, several things of mayo. It's all packed up here because I have a ton of it. And then I have, you can see, do you see all this cream cheese? I have like seven things of cream cheese, four dozen eggs. I even have milk, which I don't normally have, and that's because Brian bought it. It's only like a half gallon, but we never use it anyway. And I have apples down there in my uh, drawer here, which I also got in my last haul. And back in here I have um, carrots and broccoli and all kinds of things. So. Um, so we are, we are loaded up. We have plenty of fresh veg that should last us for at least a week, probably into next week. So this cabinet has all of my canned goods, a lot of my pastas. You can see the pasta down there and just some random storage items. Um, definitely you can't see, but my canned goods are loaded up. I normally don't have those cabinets as full, but I have tons of beans and pasta sauce. Um, uh, canned milks even, coconut and evaporated. And like I have three things of maple syrup. You can see all the bags of flour that I have. So, um, I mean, I just have a ton of, and definitely oatmeal, gotta have my oatmeal. So we are loaded with that. Right here is where I keep my garlic and onions. I am gonna need more onions for sure. Uh, I'm cooking something. <laughs> I have a big container of peanut oil, so I don't have to worry about oil. And I have two bags of potatoes down there, so we should be good for a little while. Coffee, but more on that in a moment. So up here I have my sugar and I have six packs of dry milk. So if I need to make anything, I've got loads of dry milk. I have loads of extra flours, cornstarch, peanut butter powder. Over here I have additional apple cider vinegar. We're going through like crazy. Um, extra salsa and seasonings, more pasta, more dry beans, which we're actually almost done with these dry beans. Um, and then more cans that I need to use. I think I had something like 65 cans of this pasta sauce, but remember I got it four for a dollar. So yeah, and this is just the um, spices that we use regularly, you know, salt, pepper, paprika, seasoned salt, garlic salt, onion powder, stuff like that. So that's just hanging out there because these are my other seasonings. So we have some more dry beans, some more pasta, but mostly these are like seasonings that we use that are all lined up and I got organized and they're looking very, very nice. But up at the top, we do have some extra things like egg replacer that I can use instead of the eggs that I have in my fridge for cooking. And that'll help me also make things vegan. I have molasses. I have like six things of honey, two and a half things of cocoa back there, big thing of baking soda, 
lots of dried fruit and nuts and up here I have um, some coffee that I like to cook with it's a vanilla one for the coffee flavored things and then I also have you can't see it but up in here there are some chocolate chips and caramel chips and all the baking things I even have like sprinkles and stuff so we have plenty of supplies here I, I actually didn't mark down anything that I needed from this section really so I think we're in good shape my lady is sitting on her window and over here in the corner we have some rice I have to repackage it but this is a package of long grain rice and this is jasmine rice so um, I need to repackage the long grain one I'm thinking about putting it in some uh, canning jars but it's sitting there for this moment and then we do have some water bottles and this is the oil and the butter that we're using for the moment so load it up there as well so I think that's it I think that's my inventory and I, I'm pretty certain we could probably get through most of the month. I mean, if I absolutely had to, if we were like dead broke and I just absolutely needed to go without, I'm sure I could stretch through the entire month if I needed to. But I don't have to. <laughs> so I do want to keep some fresh veg in the house. I just think that's best for us, especially given the times and, and trying to be healthy is very important so i'm going to be doing that but i will be sharing with you how low i can keep the budget this month it's kind of important to do that even with the holidays i definitely think i can make the most of this and uh, try to make sure that we have good food in the house everybody's happy and still make sure we you know keep the budget tight so if you want to join with me on a low spend no spend month let me know in the comments below and maybe we can all join together of course i do have the frugal family food facebook group and the fff low spend month challenge group and we can just keep up in there i'll have links down below in the description box if you're not a member of those groups and we can all you know just see what we can do this month to see what we can do to try to keep our budget low i'm not interested in running out of everything in my house. Sometimes when I do a low spend month, people get stressed because they're like, oh, you know, times are crazy, we need to stock up. And I'm all about being prepared. I'm all about preparedness. But I also think that it's good to have a low spend month every so often so that you can refresh what you have. And also, you know, sometimes we have budgetary reasons that we just need to spend as little as possible. And so it's good to have that as a practice, try to rotate things out and try to, you know, just use things the best of your ability. So that's what we're doing this month. You can join us if you want. And that's that. So this is my first day that I'm sharing with you. And I'm looking forward to seeing how this month goes. So I hope you ha guys have a great day. Thank you for joining me. It's going to be a fun month. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Bye.